you may find that there's some code that you keep writing over and over or code that you want to use more than once in different places in a program so it doesn't make sense to keep rewriting it we can use sub BI's to solve this problem so let's say in a calculator program I want to take two operands and an operation and output an answer so I'm gonna make a VI that will do that so on my front panel I'll have two operands an indicator for the answer and I'm just making a uh, selection tool or a combo box for choosing the operation a combo box is a way of using the string data type and allowing the user to choose from a list of string values so my string values are going to be plus minus a multiplication sign or a division sign you can see now when I go to the front panel that when I pull down the menu I will have the operations to choose from alright now let's go to the block diagram and wire these blocks together so that when I press the run button the operation will be performed. All right, to make this work, we're going to need a case structure. That'll allow us to differentiate between the four different operations. We don't want true and false, so we need to edit and add cases that correspond to our four operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Remember, quotation marks are used to indicate a string, so you need to make sure that your strings are inside of two quotation marks. Now that we have every case in the case structure to handle the four different situations, we need to add to these cases the code to perform the operation so in the division case we need the division block then wire the operands into it and wire the output to the answer now you need to make sure that you go through each case and put in the code otherwise you'll have a broken arrow and you'll be unable to run the program All right, now that we have all four cases prepared and wired up, why don't we test it out? Let's go to the front panel, change the operand, change the operation, run it, and see if you get the correct answer. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 times 3 is 9. All right, now that we've verified that our program, that our VI is working correctly, we want to make this available to other programs, other VIs. So go up to the upper right hand corner of your front panel and choose Show Connectors. This is how we create the wire nodes that will be the inputs and the outputs of your program. So we want to find patterns and this is going to allow us to choose how many inputs and outputs and usually you want the inputs on the left and outputs on the right. So we got three inputs on the left, our operands and our operation. Click and connect those with the wire tool. And then on the right hand side, we will have the output, which will be the answer indicator. All right, you may have noticed that all the blocks, all the VIs we've used to this point, have their own little icons or pictures on them. So go up there to the upper right hand corner of your front panel and show the icon and then choose edit icon so that we can get into this icon editor first thing I usually do and I don't usually get too fancy is I go and I cut or delete all of the existing picture that they give you
then I usually just type in some text that will show up on the icon uh, that represents what the VI does. Then I click OK. So you can see that this is what will show up when we bring this VI into another program, another VI. Let's save our work, give it a good name that represents what it can do. Create a new VI and use our perform operations VI in it as a sub VI. So in your block diagram, go down to uh, select VI in your functions palette, find where you saved your VI, and you'll be able to drag that VI you just made into your program so that you can use it in multiple places. You don't need to cut and paste code you just have that one program that can be reused over and over. Let's test it out. You'll see that we can wire in the two operands and an operation and the output will come out on the right. That would be the answer. Go ahead and run it, test it. You'll see 7 plus 8 is 15.